please get ready for a dictation of exercise 15 from March 2021 issue of Progressive Magazine. Five seconds. Start. Mr. Deputy Speaker, Sir, the way my friend initiated the discussion on this issue, it appeared that he did not want to realize the gravity of the situation in the right perspective. He objected to the searches made of the refugees in Tamil Nadu, but he himself said that arms had been recovered from them and he was speaking against it. I am of the view that it is basically a question of law and order which Tamil Nadu government has tried to solve in its own way which to my mind is the correct one. We are aware that the conditions in Sri Lanka are quite difficult and also how a state of confrontation developed between the people of Tamil origin and the Sinhalese. I will come, I will come to that subject later on, but it is true that the situation in Sri Lanka is quite grim and about 1,50,000 people have migrated to India and are living in Tamil Nadu. We can very well imagine the burden which has fallen on the Tamil Nadu government or government of India, but this will have to be conceded that the foreigners who flee to India either due to some crisis or as a result of atrocities committed on them have some responsibility. They should see that they do not disturb the peace and law and order of the country in which they take refugee and do not pose any challenge to the administration. We have been observing infighting among their different factions resulting in murder of one person. Keeping this in view, I think there was no other alternative before the Tamil Nadu government but to take stern action to maintain the law and order. Action taken by it has been praised by everyone but it in no way means that anyone in this country supports the action of the Sri Lankan government. It is true that ever since we got independence, say since 1950, differences between the Sinhalese majority and the Tamil minority have been surfacing and there have been clashes between the two communities. Later on in 1956, with the declaration of the Sinhalese as the official language there, we are aware how the Tamil speaking people were discriminated against. All this resulted in riots which after two years assumed serious proportions resulting in heavy loss of life and property for both the communities. In addition, 
to the language issue tamil's grievance regarding discrimination in the matter of jobs is also genuine even in areas like east and north provinces which are predominantly tamil areas efforts were made to settle sinhalese there gradually so that with the passage of time their minority may be converted into majority no one could have accepted such a situation with the same end in view the buddhists of other provinces who are in majority were given a special status and were also given preference in the matter of education and jobs from this it was felt that tamils were being neglected in every field and were also being deprived of their rights it was natural for the tamils to harbor a sense of insecurity and apprehension sri lankan government should have tried to resolve the issue but what we see is that the steps taken by the government of that country to resolve the issue had adverse effect and the problem instead of being solved became aggravated terrible carnage took place there and the attention of the world was drawn towards them it was universally condemned and in our country also widespread resentment was expressed against it because these tamils were of indian origin maybe they had gone there 100 years ago or in certain parts even 1000 years ago but their language and culture is common with us therefore it was natural that there was a widespread resentment in our country and the people pressurized the government to take initiative in this matter the government of india played a prominent role in resolving the tamil problem and the results have been very encouraging these have made a good impact we know that sri lankan government wanted that the disturbances should be quelled with police force and by use of arms and they used the force so brutally that not only in our country but also in the entire world there was outcry against it and the people condemned it now a lot of progress has been made in meeting the demands of the tamils tamil organizations want to establish their own state ilam under sri lankan government the sri lankan government was not at all ready to concede it but ever since the government of india started taking interest and talks were held the results 
seem to be quite encouraging. In the beginning, Sri Lankan government was not at all ready to hold talks to come to the negotiating table because it wanted a military solution and not a political solution of the problem. But the efforts made by the government of India to solve the problem broke the deadlock stopped. 